Okay, let's talk a little bit about master slides. When you, I've opened a new blank project here, by the way. Um, when you first open a new project, Captivate will give you one master slide. Now, you might want to make more than one master slide, but you can only attach a slide to one master slide. I know that sounds confusing, but we'll have a look. Over here on the right in the properties, I've got a little icon here, which I can click to put a background on here. So let's do that. Browse, import. Here's my background. Go open. OK. Back to the timeline and click the slide view. Film strip view, sorry. So I've got a blurry background here. If I insert a new slide, all the new slides that I insert will have this blurry background. Okay, just for instance, supposing I want slide one to be my title slide and every other slide to be different. Let's make a new master slide. So if I come here to master slides and go insert master slide, it'll give me a new blank master slide. I only want that one to maybe on here just say I don't know captivate training so I can go insert standard objects text caption or I can just click on text caption over here and I can say this is cap whoops sorry captivate training capital T and I'll drop this down and say I want that as transparent I want the text to be a little bigger than 20, maybe 34, and I'm going to put that up at the top right. Okay, getting back to the timeline. If I want number two, slide number two now, to have that look of that master slide, I can come over here to the general tab and say master slide number two. And then when I insert new slides, they'll all have that captivate training. 